Mountain Harbor Hostel. <laughs> There's Sherry up there waving. There's the food truck, which I thought might be open, but it's not. Host the b and is up there. Parking's over here. Or to John. Now let's go look. Oh, this is nice. It even smells nice. This is nice. She wasn't there yet. Some two new people showed up. Yeah, it is. Ooh, maybe I can get a coffee before I leave. No, then I'll have to go potty. Pee. <laughs> oh, there they are. We're trying to hurry up. They just changed clothes, getting, re getting ready to be picked up by a hostel. Or by the shuttle driver. Is there a light switch? Ah, oh, here we go. Sinks. Ooh, cards from all over. Thought there'd be a light switch in here. Not sure how you turn it on. But there's two bathrooms. Couch. There's a loft up there. A couple of bunks. Another one in here. Place is nice. You got a porch. Ah, look at that spider web, huh? Well, I gotta hurry up and get back out there. Yeah, we're here. Mountain Harbor B&B &B and Hostel. This is the hostel. Looks pretty cool though. I gotta get going. I think our shuttle driver is here. A little kitchen. Trying to see if there was somebody out there. There's no man. You guys got trail names? No. Huh? We don't either, so. You wanna give me one? Oh, there's somebody up there right now. You wanna give me one? <laughs> I don't have one either. I saw I, I saw a girl up there, so. So I guess we'll go up there. Probably up to the front door. We just door. wanna pay to yeah. keep our car. Right, I understand that. Alright, we'll go Good luck on your hike. They're uh from Illinois.
originally, I think both of them are, I'm not positive. And then, uh, you want to get trail names, Some they want, they want trail names. Those two want trail names. Anyway, they're living in Tennessee now. They're going to go hike, uh, hike the barn in Carver's Gap, I guess, and then back. That's fine. We're not going to need it. Beautiful area. Well, anyway, it's getting real. We still got to get a shuttle ride to Iron Mountain Gap. That's the ridge line of Carver's Gap. This dip is run high knob and over. Hey, we're at, what is it again? <laughs> Iron, Iron Mountain Gap. We're at Iron Mount, Mountain Gap. Just got a ride here. A little hairy. <laughs> Especially being in the front seat. There's Sherry Todd. This is the parking area. There's the downhill over there. The trail's just right of that 20 mile per hour sign and it's going up. That's the way out. So, let's get started with all this nice sunny weather. Oh, look at the sky. It's been cloudy all day. Let's look at this. Not bad, not bad. It's gotta be at least 70. There's our first white blaze, double white blaze. All right, it's 12:35 on Tuesday, the June 5th. We are on the trail. We're headed up. There's no other way but up on the trail. Going here. We just came from down there, and uh, we just guessed. <laughs> and uh, excited to finally get the trip going. It, it's, it, it is a steep one for on the way up. All right, we'll catch you down the trail. First sign. We're headed. It's okay. We're headed to Clyde Smith Shelter, six miles. Day one. Here we are. First hill climb out of Iron Mountain Gap. It's all mainly uphill. So, since we practice in Wisconsin where there isn't any uphill, it's uh, wearing us down a little bit. But we're moving forward. We're having a good time. Dale's up ahead blazing a trail for us and we're just plugging along here. Goal is 6.1 miles to the first shelter. Yeah we started at 8 o'clock last night. Sherry started at about 5.15. Drove all night, stopped, had some snacks along the way, ate breakfast this time. No lunch. We don't need no lunch. And uh, now we're out here hiking. So here's a view up ahead. Right Dale up there in the blue. Sherry in the red. I'm pulling up the back end in the blue pack. And that's the trail behind us. It's going to be a good trip. Right, we just came up a big hill. It was pretty steep. Probably, what do you think, 30 degrees? 30, 40 degrees. And uh, came up to a little flat spot where it looks like we're going up again. There's all these ferns here which are really looking kind of cool. We can see them. Makes me happy that I sprayed all my clothes with vermithrin before the trip. So, sure you're just up ahead there. And, uh, starting to work their way back up. 
Congratulations! You did your first mile on the AT and, and almost all of it uphill. Are we done yet? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> no cursing. Uh, are we done yet? <laughs> Typical coin. Anyway, just wanted to let you know. Only a mile? Yeah. Only a mile. Well, there's the water pole. First water source. It's down this uh, possibly blue blaze. It's not long enough to be a blue blaze. There's a campsite down there by two trees and it's probably in the woods. But we don't really need water just yet. So we're off into the darkness. Uh, Merkwood. Found a nice little campsite here. I think it's mile 365-367. We gotta go up that yet. May not look like much, but that looks steep. Don't look for, don't look ahead. Here's a rock I've seen in many videos. I don't know what they call it, but it's definitely unique. I remember one, oh, somebody left some garbage over there. I remember one guy saying, oh, you could stay dry under there if you had to. Under 2.7. It's weird how the leaves are stuck to the side. What is that, a shark? Kinda looked like a shark. Oh, imagination, a dolphin maybe? I don't know. It's hard work getting up here, but it's beautiful. Well, we haven't made it to the stealth campsite yet. We're at about 3.86 miles. It's beautiful up here. She should just stand and listen. I'll be quiet for a minute here. Well, I hope you heard it. Oh, that was a steep one. That was a real butt kicker. Pretty sure this is the stealth campsite right on top. Yeah, it is. Looks like a nice place too. Oh, I feel sorry for Sherry for being her first year. 
this was this one was probably a little too tough. I'll admit it. Oh well. Can't change it now. No pain, no gain, I guess. Look at all these ferns, ferns everywhere. Yeah, we just came up our second butt, butt kicker. And there's just ferns everywhere. Kind of neat. Nice and green. Here's another campsite on the way down from the big hill. Here's the campsite and trail just be beyond the first few leaves. There's my tent, there's my pack, poles, some other stuff, stove. Here's my meal, it's chicken and beef stroganoff. I got some leftover chicken. There's Todd and Sherry, a nice camper, campground. I'm right now too sore to get up. <laughs> we still gotta hang our bear bags. It's about, what time is it here? 6.46 and we're all tired sorry about the brief one tonight but we're, we'll try to do better tomorrow whoa what happened to that one? I stepped on the rope. oh I was going to say that one up and down pretty fast I was worried about it hitting you There you go. You got it. You know what's next. I'm just going to hang it. We're done. Well, we're all done. We made it six miles. We didn't quite make it to Clyde Smith's shelter. I think we're miles short. But uh, we're done. <laughs> we were done. Exhausted. You name it. The first day is tough. After the long first, drive. first day is definitely tough, especially with a long drive and no food. No sleep. Okay, here's what we got. Good night.